Hello, good morning and welcome to the AM News with me, Mabiza CBD. Now in our first story, family of the slain EMT personnel who were shot by suspected armed robbers while on official duty is calling for expedited investigation into the incident that led to his death. Abraham Tete was attacked and shot more than six times by the robbers on the dawn of last Thursday while he was transporting a pregnant woman from the Kuse Government Hospital to the Eastern Regional Hospital in Koforidia. He was rushed to the Kolibu Teaching Hospital where he died on Saturday. But four days on, the police is yet to arrest anyone in connection to the incident. Joe Newsman Noah Kranting was at Tripoli to speak to his family who want the perpetrators to be brought to book immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Sorrowful scenes that welcomed us to the family house of late Sergeant Abraham Tete at Chopoli. Friends and sympathizers from far and near had come to commiserate with the grieving family. For many who had heard the news, it was the death of Abraham the EMT personnel. But for the family, it is the loss of a pillar. He would never turn down a request for assistance from any family member. He really was our backbone. I am a man and I shouldn't be crying, but Abraham meant so much to me. It's only God who knows what happened. But Abraham's life's journey was not without a struggle. His 70 year old mother, Awunye, tells me of how she sold her belongings and did all sorts of menial jobs to see her son through school. I used to hog biscuits with his grandmother at Accra just to get something to take care of his educational expenses. He would even sometimes join us to pick firewood and sell, all just to put him through school. Abi, as he was affectionately called, was truly drawn to his family. His 90-year-old grandmother revealed how he transferred from the Tamale to Somanya station of the ambulance service just to be close enough to take care of her. Tamale, first jee yata, nwa ni yata neke jee biya meke ena Jimmy imbehiwa. He was earlier stationed at Tamale, but applied to transfer to Somania. She dreads the reality that Abraham has taken an early flight to the way of all men. While he was alive, there was hardly any dull moment around him. He was a very humble man. He always creates some fun. 
at our family gatherings because he could sing and dance very well. For the support system that he was, Abraham's family will have nothing short of an expedited investigation leading to the arrest and prosecution of his killers. The information we are gathering now indicates that the whole thing started somewhere 11 p.m. And Abraham was shot somewhere to something to three. So even when, uh, according to source, Abraham was second car. That means the armed robbers. And it, it took them about two hours to kill my cousin. We want the police administration to investigate this very wide. We, 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 are, we are not taking anything out. Right from the working place to everywhere, they should at least investigate it very well. And these perpetrators of this hero's crime should be brought to book. For Emmanuel A. Tete, who spoke spacing for their family, they want government, and for that matter, the police service, to expedite investigations and bring the perpetrators to book. From the family house of Abraham Tete, the slain EMT official of the National Ambulance Service, here at Chopoli. My name is Manuel Kranting for Joy News.